What is going on, everyone? Commodore last here today brings us my live reaction to In Zero Manga Chapter 190. Now, the chapter is out. We are back from Golden Week break. We are here today to read the latest installments of the Hero Mashima greatness. And I'm expecting that we are going to stick around with the events ongoing between Rebecca versus Clown. Obviously, the Ring of Fire stuff that's going on and everything with her being trapped and stuff. Labilla looking like she's about to make her move now after seeing that recording from Rebecca. Which, again, really great moments and stuff. And I really hope that she ends up surviving by the end of this arc. I know that she was, you know, presumed to die eventually because of what was going on with her body and stuff. But now, with Sister hopefully trying to figure something out, we'll get a good solution with her not going out. So, I don't know what LaVille is going to try and do because, obviously, they're trapped in their different areas and stuff. The only ones that are on the surface at the moment in terms of the real world is Brigadine and the Hermura. So, we have to see how it's going to play out. The stuff afterwards with uh, Justice and Elsie. <sighs> I mean, my boy isn't safe, first and foremost. Okay, look, you can put some clothes on for her. You can interrogate all the other stuff, but uh, it's Mashima Ball. We have to accept that. But obviously, I'm sorry to really think, man, like, we're going to hopefully, hopefully, hopefully in this arc, get more details in regards to what's going on with Ziggy. Because, man, it's starting to feel like there's a deeper meaning to what's going on with him. I don't want to just assume it's completely him that's actually doing this there's something further does it take away all the stuff that he's done in terms of the crimes not really but answers are needed honestly because there's just so many questions up in the air with him and you know obviously uh shiki's doing his best to try to figure out what it is even though i think he has an idea but it's more so like can we get confirmation of it but let's go on and see what's going on in the chapter first and foremost and hopefully it is sticking with rebecca and hopefully she'll be fine because i'm pretty sure with this whole ring of fire thing the reason why Mashima did it because I think with cats, whenever like they're surrounded by fire or they see fire or something, they actually like they can't do nothing about it. I don't know if that's uh, an actual thing or that's just something <laughs> cognitively I just found on the spot. So let's go into the chapter and find out. So chapter one ninety in zero. Here we go. All right. Uh. Okay. No, that's a little bit painful. I ain't gonna lie. I man, you can't put Jin and Clean like that in the cover page when they're little kids on the run. Uh the Rufus siblings, man, come on. Chapter one ninety, the greatest show from hell. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, this had to have been after everything that went down with them, like you know, with the doctor and stuff, and that they were on the move and out and everything. But oh man, that backstory or just in general, like learning what happened to them and stuff, just pain. Like, I feel for Jin, especially with Clean. And we have to protect Clean. That's, the hashtag still lives on. We still need to protect Clean. Especially after the time skip. We have to protect her. So, all right, next page. All right, so, okay, so I'll say this one thing, right? Because I guess it saves time and stuff, right? But I, pretty much this is the exact same panel from 189 where you see Rebecca's surrounded by the fire and stuff. I think it's just a little bit alterations and everything. But, again, if it saves you time so that works on the other stuff and you have the Golden Week break, then fair enough, but so she's uh, consumer well fire around there and everything. Rebecca, oh, so she's it. Never mind. There's cats, and then there's Rebecca, and she's clear of them. Fair enough. She bounces right up. Oh, brava, brava. Sorry, but I don't have time to be in your little circus. Ah, but the fun's only just getting started, and he's just shooting out rings of fire and stuff right towards her. Basically, just treating like a straight up circus event right now because Rebecca, as you see, she's like barely trying to get through. She'll like that's a terrible. I don't know if she's going for a baseball slide on the first one there, but uh, when the second ring comes in, but she goes like that, she's trying to hoppy hop and stuff away from it. Fush, fush, fush. Hey, yo! <laughs> hey, bro, we take those. A Busaiki D strike? Hold on. No, nah, that had to be. I see me. I see me. Yeah, no, that was a huge strike right there. Okay, Rebecca, I see you. I see you. Listen, I'm going to my goal, but no, but you've really climbed the charts, though. I mean, you've always actually been top tier. Let's be honest with ourselves. Rebecca has been a great character in the story. But my God, man, from a fighting standpoint, especially now that there's overdrive, like, just the hands and knees and everything, bro. We take those. But a massive hit there on Clown. And yeah, buddy, that was a knee. That was a D. You see that stance? You see the stance of the D? Yo, love to see it. She might be a Charles Oliveira fan, man. She definitely saw the UFC event this weekend. Ah, you took you take pride in your speed. 
He lifts his hand of snap. Oh, like electrical circuits or something? And one zaps on her pouch. And she falls back. And now she's being electrocuted. Hold on. Yeah, she's being hit. And uh, no, don't tell me the clothes are starting to rip up. Because you see like markings and stuff on it. Electricity running through the stage. Yeah, so but, yeah, some of her clothes are being ripped off and stuff. But ah, uh, uh, yeah, she. But yeah, that's that's kind of crazy though. Man's just using the electrical circuits, just going off the ground itself just to go and shock somebody. That's. I'm pretty. What, but would it do really much though on someone that's mechanical though? You know what I mean? Because you're already running on electricity itself in some capacity, so would it be able to hurt? Like obviously for a human, for Rebecca, it's gonna hurt her. But I'm always curious though to see like would that really do anything like a short circuit or are they almost like nullified from it? Such bad luck to be human. Okay, so I guess he basically answered my question there. And then you see Rebecca's looking up. Oh, she goes to the, to the curtain. Trying to hold on to it. Trying to, I guess, get away from the ground. Th that's cheating. <laughs> I know, I know. Is it? I thought it was standard practice to suppress your opponent's best moves. If our next act, allow me to demonstrate the art of juggling and... Like, I don't know if I've ever seen actual people, like, juggle around uh, a bunch of cut glass swords and stuff. But I guess we have a first right now. Unless there's someone you can tell me that's done that before with uh, out cutting their arms off. Then, especially in the length of those swords, come on. Swish, swish, swish. And he's just throwing every single one. Okay, so she is able to get off right there. She dodges, go grabs to the next one right after. Rebecca. Very nice. You may have what it takes to be a wonderful acrobat. The way you move is ever so comical. And she, he just keeps on whipping right at her and stuff. He, I, I, she's, yeah, just like, hold on to your life. You keep falling, takes one hit. She's going to go right back to the and gets uh, hit by the swords. Uh, what is the deal with this cage? It does not appear to be locked electronically. If we can phys deal physical damage to it from the outside... Okay, now hold on. Fino got an idea. Miss Rebecca, can you hit this cage with one of those swords? Hit the cage with a sword. Mmm, hold on. Hold on, yo. Okay, 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 Rebecca. Close with the feet to stop the sword. Okay, that that's strength right there. And if, she, if she's not been cut, cut with the um, dropping blood and stuff, then that's even more of a feat. But she holds on to the sword. My... How unladylike. Gather my ether to my feet. And he, as she just kicks that thing straight at the cage. Breaks right through. Happy and Pino escape. You did it. Escape attempt uh, successful. Your rescue mascots won't be able to help you. Activate EMP. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? No, we need it. Let's go. That isn't going to... Oh. That isn't going to work. We four Dark Star model androids are equipped with an anti-EMP coating. Miss Rebecca, I shut off the electrical current running through the stage. Okay. And he's gonna wait, hold on. He's just looking around like, wait, wait a minute. Happy. I, sir. And he's gotta be transforming into the guns. Yep. Straight back into the double hand the uh, handguns. And he's wait, what's she? Oh yeah, wait, hold on. Is she blasting it right at him though, or like almost like in like a circle thing? Rat -ta 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 -ta. And he's like, "Oh wow, you stupid little girl!" And I don't know if it's like a laser slingshot thing. And she dodges right away. He says, "Nope, no chance is gonna get me." Analysis complete. His armor is lighter on the back of his neck. Oh, here we go. Copy that. Jumps up from the top. Are we about to get the ultimate leg strike? The ultimate leg strike time. Yep, happy blast, no, even better, happy blaster, full burst, and she just shoots away, and the man's neck had just been banged up, and it looks like he lost part of it, too, it looks like a little bit, yeah, almost, either lost a little bit of it, or he, like, right where it needed to be, just pretty much, uh, malfunctioned him, oh, wow, uh. and you see Rebecca with a smile after, Fido, you know, you look, look, great tag team, you know what? He wanted to play around with some mickery with the uh, electricity and all that. Nah. And the rings of fire? Nah. We had t t dream work, teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. But, yeah, you see right there, I guess, the, hit, the hits and Ray on the neck. And, yeah, I, I would say that's got to be something that's pretty much going to, like, knock him out of commission more so than, like, actually kill him. And, yeah. 
Hit the stance right after, the victory stance. Love to see it. Drops to the ground. We did it. Clang. You did it, Rebecca. Thanks to the two of you. Okay, so now she reverts right back from the overdrive and stuff into her normal clothes. I think some of the, um, it's still ripped up a little bit in the process. I see, I see. I'm so sorry I called you a wimpy weakling. Maybe it's time I started taking this a little seriously. Okay. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. Because obviously what happened with Shiki and Wizard was one thing because Shiki is built different. But honestly, whatever happens with these next three fights hinges on whether or not we think the Dark Stars are really like problems or not. If he's actually getting up after all of that, okay, then I, I can I can respect it. I mean, they're formidable in their own rights and stuff. And again, Rebecca has just only learned overdrive, so to get a complete victory now would be a little bit crazy. But even so, okay, clown. What? So you weren't at trying at all. Enemy body attack power rising. Oh, God. He's... Battle dress requip. Nightmare clown. Oh god. Uh it, bro. Uh but then what is she gonna do? I mean she could she go back into no problem. I mean, she could probably go back in no problem, but then it's gonna take a lot out of her though, into the overdrive state. Oh uh, no, nah, this is gonna be a big problem. If she can't go back into that, we got a problem. Unless Lobilla somehow pops in into this world, I don't know. Well, let's see what's gonna happen here. So yeah, his design looks pretty crazy though. He got like the black garbs and everything on now. The markings, his mask completely changed up. The hair wave flowing, the rumbling. Like this is the rumbling we might have been looking for. You see the look on Rebecca after isn't happy. Like they are just shook right now. Now, now we got a big problem. Pleasant nightmares. Is it like a steam or something or like? I don't even know. Is this? I don't, okay, it's not disintegrating anything and stuff, but it's almost like a pleasant that I'm a, no, this gotta be like some kind of like a, a not like an elixir, but like it's almost like um it's like one of those things where you know when the when spies and stuff they would put like the steam and stuff and like it basically will knock you out or whatever, right? But in this sense it's gonna I guess I guess it pollute their minds with nightmares and stuff possibly. What is happening? Uh wait. What the hell? Rebecca, the unidentified miss took Miss Rebecca. There's no way that's the end of the chapter. Oh my god. Okay. The only thing I can think of right now that just happened is she's literally been like. There's no shot she died. That's one thing. I would rule it out immediately. She's not dead. Transported possibly into like, like a nightmare kind of realm thing. Like, but then again, it's disappearing, right? So it's like unless she's being put somewhere else. I don't know what to make of that. The identified miss took her. Because the way it looks right here, it says here, pleasant nightmares. And she's the only one that's being absorbed into the thing. And then she just disappears. So I'm assuming it's like, like, again, outside world, they're put into this little thing to fight the three other combatants. And then now she's being put into something else after. So I'm assuming that she's basically in some kind of like a nightmare kind of realm kind of thing. And she has to basically overcome that to get out and completely fight again after I, that's the only thing i can think of because like there's no shot rebecca got smoked like this you know what i'm saying that would be absolutely wild if that was a good i uh, highly doubt that that's what happened but then it's like what do you make other than like she's been put in some kind of realm thing above right 
That is really, really weird. I, I don't know, man. That this is definitely one of the Moshman chapters where like you gotta get the next chapter to come out to figure out what the hell just happened because literally I get she's not dead. And she might have been transported somewhere else. It's like literally the only two things. Well, really the only thing I can think of right now that can happen. If you guys know anything else, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, no, this, I mean, good chapter for the majority part of it. Again, a lot of the action sequences and stuff were really nicely done. But the big thing really coming out of this is that this man clown wasn't trying. All the little electricity stuff, the ring of fire, all that. That was basically him just fooling around. He took things seriously. And literally now put Rebecca in some kind of realm thing is what I'm guessing has transpired with her. And Rebecca had to get creative and everything with the overdrive to be able to try and beat this guy while he's not even trying. And now we have ourselves a real problem. Like, I don't, there's no way that Mashima switches over to the other fights now. You have to continue on with what's going on here and figure out what's going to happen now to Rebecca. Like. But then, I, but then I wonder too, because if it's pleasant nightmares, right? If it's something that you're stuck in this realm, you're facing things of your past and stuff possibly, or things that give you massive amounts of fear of nightmares and all that. And I'm assuming again, past is like going to be a big thing. Are we going to learn stuff about Rebecca in terms of like, you know, her family? Because again, that's a big thing we don't know about. All we know, I think the earliest of that was like the time that she's been with Happy and when she got him. And then after the stuff with, guess, with, uh, with Vice, the older one and stuff. So, I mean, like, unless we're diving into that and it's like Rebecca has to challenge those things to beat it and then eventually, you know, gets out. And then if she's able to go back in overdrive, no problem. Then happens to beat uh, Clown, then I would assume that's going to be the case. But other than that, I can't really think of what other scenarios is about to happen here because ain't no shot she died. Because that would be absolutely wild. Like, it's... I'm going with what Pino said. The mist is taking her in. So, it's like... Uh, she's definitely being put in some kind of, like... A nightmare. Like, we're going to actually see stuff of her past. This really might be the best arc in the series. If we're going to get all the things that I think we could get. Like, obviously, the main course of that being the Shiki and Ziggy stuff. Regards to, you know, how Ziggy found Shiki... What exactly it is that makes him, like, you know, the biggest threat to the universe and stuff. But just little inklings again. The bloody Atmos Day incident. And then this stuff right here that could lead to Rebecca's past. Like, the Kaede War, man. This might really be the one. The LC Justice stuff. Like, there's so much, honestly, that goes with this arc. That if we get here, I... The only one that could really top it is the final arc. Whenever we get there. Unless there's something afterwards that ends up being far greater than that. You know, that taps into, like, Dark Ages or something, but... But, yeah. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below regarding this week's chapter of Eden Zero. Let me know, what did you think so far of the fight between Rebecca and Clown? How did you feel in regards to, like, you know, Clown really wasn't trying whatsoever? Which, I still think is a little crazy that all that stuff was going on. And he's like, okay, flip the switch. Pleasant nightmares. Like, you know, but at the same time, I'm also thinking... We have to take into consideration, Shiki is on a whole different level. So what he did to Wizard was one thing. The likes of Rebecca and the others, the only one I would say maybe that could do something in terms of bridging the gap, not too much, maybe Hamura. But at the same time, man, it's like, yo, the Dark Stars really might be problems after all. I mean, Shiki aside, like, it makes sense why these fights are happening because it's going to get them to that level to be able to surpass them. But Rebecca, I don't know. She's going to have to overcome whatever it is that she's being transported into. If it is a nightmare realm where she has to deal with her past and like learn, will learn about things of her upbringing or something. And it's like her overcoming it to get back into where they are right now. Fair enough. But that's what my thoughts are on it. But if you think it's something else, if there's anything else you want to elaborate down in the comments below regarding the chapter, please do that. Like the video if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of Eden Zero week in, week out, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell, Shandora, so that everything goes on the channel. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys next week. Hopefully, we stick here. I, I Look, even if you go to Homura, Mashima, even if you go to Homura, it might be the one time I will say to you, not yet. Not yet, okay? Because I need to know if Rebecca is going to be fine because this is a very weird situation. And I know my goal is still waiting for me, but like, 
Nah. Rebecca, we need to take care of her first and foremost. So hopefully next week, Mashima, we figure out what's going on and uh, we can hopefully take care of things here with Clown because we cannot let this man prosper by any means necessary. If pleasant nightmares, no shot. But we'll have to wait and see next week. So Commodore last signing off. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah, we going crazy. I'm with the team, yeah, yeah, we going crazy.